If, however, the widow leaves of her own accord, then it's nothing upon you for what, in terms of what they do. What does it mean if your widow leaves? What do you mean? So, once her period is ended, four months, ten days, she goes marry someone else. But leaves who? It's not on you. Sorry? She's a widow, so leaves the house. Or oh, the house. Yeah. Okay. Yes, sir, Mr. Ali. Um, at the end of my translation, it says in brackets, the order of this verse has been canceled by verse 412. By which verse? 412. In terms of inheritance? Um, it just says that. Yeah. So. Let's look at that really, really uh, briefly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So here are the details of inheritance. Okay. This, these are one of those big complicated ayahs. For you is half of what your wives, your wives leave behind if they have no child, but if they have a child for you is one fourth of what they leave in if they bequest a made or debt. Wife is one fourth if you leave no child, so forth and so on. Uh, one of the beliefs is that this is why algebra grew in our tradition. So as <laughs> in all seriousness, let's <laughs> figure out let's to figure out all of these inheritance laws. <laughs> Only we had that app then. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Put on the eye up. <laughs> so, uh, I think that uh, they are not uh, contradicting each other. Uh, I'll either answer your question or to answer your footnote. Because 240 is basically giving you a prescription of what to work towards. Right? Save this much money. And then, after that, it will get split according to it. Uh, that's actually just bring up a completely different because a lot of their, you know, suppose there's a house, right, and you distribute, you give up, give away, you know, the house is part of the, you know, it's not unless it's owned, you know, it's part of the inheritance. Let's yeah. say. Now there is no house for the wife who's supposed to stay there four months and That's ten days. That's point, yeah. To now stay in for a year, so reconcile that. Uh, I think uh, you, you addressed it, right? That uh, the house uh, uh, is is not. I mean, unless you think of the house as not, you can. I, like I said, here you can actually. You know, we've talked about in the states. You can hear. You know, you have. We'll talk about the uh, by a ten tenancy of the uh, in an <laughs> entire and basically where you both own the house, and then if one of them dies, the other one owns all of the house, not part of the house. It's not. As opposed to being but joint would, property. But where would the house go, anyways, in the context of the No, but if it, if it is joint property and I own house, if you considered it quote unquote yeah. joint property no. and I own half for the house, technically then my son gets you know X amounts, my daughters gets X amounts, my father gets X amount, my mother gets yeah. X amount of the house, and and the only my wife only owns half of the house or has to pay for that. So therefore, there's a little different. That's why. The idea of, you know, where you, you, you beforehand declare it to be, you know, like, you know, tenancy of the entirety, where no, both of saying, you own the house separately and entirely. I get that, but in this context, speaking to the contemporary, the community, Muslim community, why was this, where, why would the house be, I don't understand why this verse is even needed to I'm say also, that. I'm okay. So it says here, if you die leaving your wives behind, you bequeath yeah. provision for one year, yeah. right? I, I get that, but then the thing about if she leaves the house, like, isn't it like her house? What was the tr the tradition at the time? Okay, so, so you're leaving a year's worth of savings for your wife. Yeah. Suppose five months after you die, she marries someone else. Okay. Right. And so. Uh, if uh, if your wealth is no longer being used, then you're not losing out. She can take that money, right? Yeah. Oh, actually, can she, or does that go to the inheritors now? I can find out. No, right. no, no, no. Because the question is going to be, what is the inheritance going to be distributed? Mm -hmm. Right. right. Mm -hmm. I mean, I can look at all these things. It, meaning it'll be with because each person's death. Mm -hmm. For one year. Yeah. The point is that, uh, not necessarily. You have to designate that. You actually have to be very good at the yeah. contracts about that. 
If you designate no, a quote unquote joint property, technically you only own half of the house. This now the way the contracts are written now for houses, are they written by tenancy of the entirety, which means that when one person dies, the other person owns the house. But that's actually, you have to actually make sure that's the language, technically. Alright, Kumarayas. And for divorced women. Walil mutallaqat mata'un bil ma'roof. And divorced women is, mata'un is essentially, the, the etymology of mata'un is uh, like a tool that you use in use. Right? So they will have provision according to what is acceptable. Haqqan ala ala al And this is uh, a right or responsibility upon those who have taqwa. Thus he makes clear to you his ayat so that you might use your aqal. Is all this stuff clear? Why is that divorced well, what? <laughs> divorced women <laughs> provision must be made according to usage? Like yeah. who does that? Who provides for them? Alimony. <laughs> oh, the <laughs> really? I guess why I thought. I uh, I'm, I'm speaking of the time while they're in the divorcing process. Gotcha. Okay. What do you think of the process? It's a divorce process. I mean, what, what, what's the uh, mutallaqat? It's uh, you know, you're, you're being divorced. So this doesn't refer to alimony? Or I don't understand this to refer to alimony. You don't? Yeah. Is there any concept of alimony in the song? There probably is somewhere. Isn't that like I mean, I maher? Like, so. Isn't that part of the maher? Maher is essentially supposed to be a gift. Okay. Right. Um, sometimes it gets turned into a status symbol, and sometimes it gets turned into an insurance policy. Mm -hmm. Actually, is that, is that a misunderstanding? Because there's actually in, that's actually, a, I feel like that's a Desi culture misunderstanding that's well worth being clarified, that some people think that it's only on the case of divorce, whereas really, I owe it. Like, you owe, you owe your wife your meher. It's a debt. Payable at any moment, on demand at any moment. That's, yeah, a, that's a cultural I do, I do thing, I think. That's a, at yeah. the time of the actual so signing of the contract. Yeah. But you can say, like, I'll pay it in like five years or whatever. That's yeah, you agree. really should not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you can agree on yeah. it. Right? I'm basically reaching the point that there's a couple of types of marriages that I probably won't do, and one of those is if the Meher is $60 trillion and five, and they're going to pay $5 oh. now, and the other $60 trillion will <laughs> <laughs> pay later. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, next, we're going to go back to war. Yes. <laughs> right from the lock to war. No. Uh, if a woman dies before you pay the matter, there was uh, stuff in the middle. I there was like still a debt that you had to pay. That's a good question. For us, who gets it? I don't know. Yeah. So after the divorce. Um, the mayor stole something that she has to get. It's and still any gift that you did in terms of jewelry and stuff, that all belongs to her. Yeah. Gift is a gift? Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. She can, if she is pursuing, give up the whole matter. Mm -hmm. And early on, give up the whole matter. Mm -hmm. But uh, unless she does, it is she? the husband's obligation. Does it take into account inflation? Because <laughs> 40 Time years ago, money. 50 years ago, if the mayor was $10,000, Fifty years later, that's what the honorable bill comes honorable. into account. Right? Another, so that's why the ayat keeps on saying, "Be honorable, be honorable." Yeah, yeah. If you're not yeah, if you're dishonest, like the Shabanu case in India, which is a classic case, of, uh, uh -huh. I guess you know, for those who are familiar with that story, uh, in, in India there was a slave lady who she went to the courts because this guy said, "Here's your here's your mare and you know, and basically and get and get and go home." And she decided to go to the courts. And everybody, nobody condemned the guy for saying, you know, do, do this, this is what I'm doing, I'm going to kick you out of the house. Everybody condemned her for going to the courts instead of, a, instead of how, you know, quote unquote, applying Muslim personal law to apply to Indian law. Quote unquote. Um, so, for a couple who are seeking to. There is a meher that he has not given it to his wife yet. Yeah. And then she asked for a Is he supposed to give? 
She should be willing to give up at least half. Meaning, usually the, if she's going to some authority like a scholar to pursue the khula, the scholar will try to find out what she's going to give up. Like the matter that's so over. She cannot ask for the whole Meaning, she technically can, but she should be willing to give it up. Half at least. Any other questions? Yes, sir. Can I make a comment? I'm just kind of do. So, like, this is very, like, rule heavy. Yeah. A lot of rule heavy, rule heavy, rule yeah. heavy, right? And it's, like, getting heavier and heavier almost, right? Yeah. But, like, I'm just finding it fascinating right in the middle. 238 and 239, yeah. it's just, a, like, a reminder. Yeah. Right? Hey. Right? <laughs> Salah, sort of Salahs, right? It's just, I think it's very, like, kind. In, in a way, you know. That's all. Carry on. Okay, next time we will see the actual proper usage of the fundraising IA. Remember in the past we have the interfaith IA, mm -hmm. we'll have the fundraising IA. Okay, any other questions, thoughts about anything? Subhanakallahumma bihamdika nashadu wa la ilaha illa anta nastafiru kama tubi ilayk. Subhanakallahumma bihamdika nashadu wa la ilaha illa anta nastafiru kama tubi ilayk. Subhanakallahumma bihamdika nashadu wa la ilaha illa anta Nice to you guys. Okay, I'm going to tell her. 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 So, for me, it's fine. Is the time okay for everybody? 5 30 to 7 30? Yeah, I mean, if, uh, I know, you right? Know, some people kind of tell me to show up on time. I know, so right? Never, never show up on time. So. That's good. Yeah. Yeah, there's a million in laws over there. Yeah, the only thing we do is we don't, we don't, <laughs> we don't pay the golf hour at the beginning. We create us here in the first. first. Yeah. Right? It still starts, it'll start, so it'll start now. So we still have the assembly at 145. And then we'll have but now you should pay this over first. Amen. Congratulations. Oh, let me take this.